This is Chuck Johnson, and I'm here to show you. So for today's episode, what we're gonna be dealing with is an escape from a same side wrist grab. Now let's face it, as a 200 pound, six foot two, ball headed black dude, I don't exactly expect him to be running up on me grabbing my wrist anytime soon. However, for those of you at home who may not be six foot two, 200 pound black dudes, you may find this technique useful. Let's take a look. So this is Dean. He's gonna be helping us out today. Say hi, Dean. Hi. Okay. So if you would, same side wrist grab, okay? So if somebody grabs your wrist, it's obviously because they're bigger than you and they're stronger than you and they're probably interested in dragging you somewhere, okay? So as such, the last thing you wanna do is pit your arm strength against their arm strength because their arm is gonna win because it's bigger and stronger. So what you wanna do instead is you wanna use your whole body against their arm strength. Now the way you do that is that instead of standing out here like this and then just tugging like this with your arm, which obviously isn't gonna work, you step in like this so that you can use your whole body against just his arm, okay? So from here, I step in, then at the same time, I grab with the other arm if I want as an extra support, and then from here, I'm gonna use my shoulders and hips, and I'm gonna twist out like this. Turn with a strike this way, okay? So one more time, he grabs me, I step in, one, and then twist out, and then return. So to show you guys the importance of using that twist out as opposed to just pulling, I want you to stick one arm up like this, grab it with the other, then I want you to pull this way. You'll see pulling isn't very effective. It's not gonna work, especially if their arms are stronger than yours. Whereas if you twist like this, you can slide out. From this angle, you can see if I twist out, then I'm undoing the grip one set of fingers at a time. And that is what you want, okay? Okay, so, can you hold one more time? Sure. So one more thing I wanna show you is what I'm going to do is I'm going to escape from right here, okay? Basically, every hold is like a chain. It's only as strong as its weakest link. This is the weak link in this hold, so this is where you wanna escape from. So from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use that twisting technique I talked about before, and you're just gonna slide out like that. Then from there, you're already pumped, you're already set, boom, two, and you just give it to them, okay? So now, it doesn't necessarily matter where on the head you hit, as long as you hit them quickly. Take it from somebody who's been knocked out themselves, okay? You don't actually have to hit somebody all that hard to knock them out. But what you need to do is you need to hit them when they don't see it coming, so that they can't brace for it, and it just rattles their head. That will knock them out, or at least make them fall down, okay? Now, we're gonna have Dean give it a try, okay? So I'm gonna grab him, give him full resistance on that hold, okay? Step in, two, three, okay. That was actually really good. So, and if you'll notice, as he did it, he used his full hips and shoulders, he didn't just try and pull with his arm, and his arm was in nice and tight, okay? And that's exactly what you want. So just remember, as you're doing it, you want it to be nice and smooth and nice and fluid, okay? So I want you to try it one more time, okay. really fluid, okay? One, two, three, okay. So, now you know how to escape from a same side wrist grab. So what I suggest you do is you train it, you train it, you train it. Now training it doesn't mean going to the local bar and then finding some 350 pound veteran street fighter with a jacked up truck and a mullet and being like, hey buddy, why don't you grab my wrist? Okay. Training it means maybe showing this video to one or two or all of your friends and then getting together and then just practicing it until the motion becomes natural, okay? One, because you're, you know, being honest, you're probably not gonna get it right off the bat. It's gonna take a little bit for it to become natural. Two, because you wanna train it to the point that the response becomes autonomic. Because if somebody grabs you and you stall, actually using the technique is gonna become exponentially harder. The sooner you can respond, the more likely it is that it's gonna work for you. In fact, what I suggest you do is after you train this with your friends, you could even turn it into a greeting. You know, instead of being like, what's up, bro? As Chuck typically does, it could look something like this. Hey, Chuck, how's it going? Chilling, bro, you know, hanging out, kicking it, kid. Yeah, yeah. Like that, 